Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday morning prayer and devotion. God bless you today as we start off this brand new week and looking forward to what the Lord has in store for each of us. Uh, this morning, uh, we're wanting to remember in prayer Zeke Sampson, who is a, a four-year-old with stomach pain and fever. Uh, Zeke's grandmother also needs prayer for cold symptoms and lung issues. And another four-year-old family member fell down some stairs and broke his femur and is requiring surgery. So let's remember that family. They have many needs right now going on in the Sampson family. Other children who are needing prayer today, Myra, Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker are battling cancer. Abram Page was born with GNA01 disorder. Abel Ray has PKU syndrome. Tama Lopez has spina bifida. Grady Sappington's grandson has developmental issues. Brantley and baby Elsie are both recovering from heart surgeries. I'm asking you to remember in prayer this morning, my mother uh, who has been sick with a virus and down in her back. Uh, Pastor Mickey Lewis has a tear in the corda that operates the mitral valve and has a consultation with a cardiologist scheduled to discuss options for that. Uh, the damage is progressive and could even be fatal under certain circumstances. So Brother Lewis and his family certainly desire our prayers today. Others with heart issues, Mike Sappington's in cardiac rehab, Kenny Prinzel, Brenda Stormstrom in Melvin, Helen Hendricks and Cheryl Chance all needing our prayers for heart problems. Philip Northrup had foot surgery Friday and a recovery time of six to 10 weeks is expected from that. Ashley Johnson was a gunshot victim we've been praying for for many weeks now. Uh, saw a surgeon on Friday and was told that her body is not absorbing fluid off her brain properly. She's going to have to have a drain tube placed with high risk of losing all the progress that she has made thus far. And she was told that she may even lose her speech. There's also a blood clot that's still on the brain that's very worrisome. And uh, Ashley, of course, is very upset by this latest report. But we're going to believe the report of the Lord. And we know that God that has brought her this far is well able to deliver her from this situation. So we're continuing to believe for full recovery. Others who were believing for continued recovery, uh, Brother Huey, Carmen's cousins, Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, uh, Sheila Sappington, all needing recovery from stroke. Eric Williams is recovering from a major ankle surgery. Megan Rackley still recovering from injuries she sustained in the Crowlesville tornado. Leslie Sutton recovering from a major surgery on her leg going through therapy um, many times a week. Let's keep praying for Leslie this morning as well. Those with lung and respiratory issues, LaVon and David Holloway, both on ventilators, Michael and Grover Straysner, Kendra Ortiz, Robbie Northrup, all needing our prayers today. Pastor Mark Wilbanks is in advanced stages of ALS. Uh, Cheryl LaChance has a family member who just had something discovered on the brain. Let's continue praying about that need. My dad needs your prayers today, uh, suffering with Parkinson's, uh, which causes weakness and unsteadiness and many other issues, as I'm sure all of you are very well aware, as many of you have, uh, have known someone dealing with the same disease. Tim Workman, my mother-in-law, Beulah Ziegler, Russ, also battling Parkinson's, Sarah Stroop, Marty Delot, and Riley Marks need healing of MS. Those who are battling cancer, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Larimore, Kay, Scott Lucia, Nathan Van Ingman, Lisa Workman, Terry Adams' friend, James Graham's aunt, Kathy Bloss, Chuck Laurie, Edie Percival, Tanya Schutz, Dwayne Lewis, Alicia Piero, Diane Escher, Michael Boland, Monica Harmon, Linda Fox, Del Bishop, Johnny Nelson's brother, Tony, Hugh's wife, uh, diagnosed with thyroid cancer, Lydia, Philip Randall, uh, Marsha Moore's friends, grandparents, Ari Bowers, Claire, Christy Smith, a lady here in Puxico with stage four metastatic breast cancer, Kathy Burks, Kathy Williamson, and Stephanie Thompson. We're believing for Jim Connor to be able to receive 
a, a kidney transplant. We're praying for Brother Pulliam's brother for healing of his kidneys and healing of cirrhosis of the liver and pancreas issues. Those with diabetes, Emily Stanley, Cheryl LaChance, Brother Pulliam, myself, Christian Carr, Titus Dornbach, uh, those two with juvenile diabetes. Also, Johnny Nelson's daughter-in-law, Rebecca, and her mother, J.R. Johnson, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, Terry Adams' friend, Marcia, Tim Workman, and Charles Davis. Uh, Charles is also having a lot of trouble with seasonal allergies and back pain. But I'm thankful that I was able to baptize Charles on Thursday. And uh, Charles has been filled with the Holy Spirit as well. We're so thankful for what the Lord is doing in his life. Others with back issues, Pam Pulliam's daughter, Jenny, Tammy Lawson, Melinda Cummins, Bob O, Britt Moore, James Graham, Terry Adams, Michael Parrott, Lori Gravel, June Coffer uh, has arthritic pain. Renee has mobility issues due to problems with her hips and knees. We have several with stomach issues. These include Olivia, Terry Adams, Natalie, Regina's granddaughter, Aubrey, Heather Spence, and Michael Parrott. We're praying for Beth Wheatley, Melania Cummins, and Marsha Moore, who suffer with migraine headaches. Bob Perkins and Leslie Sutton, needing healing of shingles. And in our other health needs today, Wilda Morrison, Judy Williams' daughter, Jennifer, Judy Williams' sister, Mary, Shirley Garner, Carmen's sister, Tracy, Charles Davis's dad, Tom Shannon, Chloe Isaac, Kevin Gossett, Meredith, Jim Johnson, Jimmy Holden, Nicole, Regina Bishop, Jamie Joday, Lane Reasons, all needing our prayers. Also, J.B. Goforth on hospice care, Kristen's Uncle Monty with uh, both physical and spiritual needs today. And we need to pray for Ron Asher, uh, who's in a nursing home and needing strength and encouragement today. I'm asking you to pray for peace and comfort for uh, the Cummins family. Uh, Brother Steve Cummins' uncle passed away, and they're having to travel to uh, Michigan this week for the funeral services. And they're asking specifically that we would pray that God would help them to be a comfort to the rest of the family and a witness uh, to many in that family who do not know the Lord. And our spiritual and family needs today, let's pray for Brother and Sister Pulliams, granddaughters Morgan and Haley, Barbara Owens, Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin, Carrie Jones and her family, Karen Sampson and her family, Caroline Sexton's family, Alicia, Grace's best friend's family, and Grace's circle of friends. We need to pray for Grace herself and uh, for Carmen uh, for God's uh, touch upon that family today and his help for them. Marcia and Britt need prayers for their family. Cheryl's family member in need of prayer. Josiah, Terry Adams' children. We're praying for those who are struggling with addictions. We're praying for Maury who needs prayer for his finances, employment, and for his children. Charles and Amber Gossett, baby G's adoption process now in the trial setting. Dawson uh, needing uh, spiritual needs met and also needing employment. Zach Osgood needing encouragement and strength. J.R. Johnson, Annette and Dave, James and Angela, uh, all with some family issues. They need prayers for Marcia's friend and her family. Pearl uh, joining us uh, many times from South Africa. We're believing for God to meet her spiritual needs today. Rebecca Rush has an unspoken request that's been on, uh, ongoing for some time now within her family. We want to pray for Jennifer and Brenda's family, for Judy and Mike's family, for our Mingo RCF residents, our Job Corps students and alumni, Alan, Beulah's family, the Sappington family, Pam Pulliam's children, Dee Dee Sealert's biological father and his family, Regina Marlin's family, Art Chandler, Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families. And um, also let's pray for our global and North American uh, missionaries that God's hand of favor would be upon them. We had a great time yesterday uh, celebrating with one of our North American mission families and our dear friends, the Brelands in Perryville, celebrating a new facility that they've been able to move into to worship and uh, just a great work of God that is going on in that city. We thank the Lord for it. We need to pray especially for our missionaries in Ukraine and in the nations surrounding that area 
and pray against the war that's been going on there. Uh, the troops need protection. Their children need reassurance and for their parents to uh, be home again with them. Uh, Charles Davis has a son in the Navy, Robert Hicks. Let's pray for him today. And uh, for those delivering humanitarian aid, of course, we need to pray peace and comfort for those who have been orphaned and widowed uh, through this terrible situation in Ukraine. God bless each of you this morning who are joining us live. And I want to take a moment and welcome you, uh, Pam and Judy. Good to see you, Johnny and Marcia and Kristen um, and Sherman. Uh, good to see each of one, each one of you praying with us this morning. Uh, Johnny is requesting prayer uh, for family still that the Lord would move in their lives, that each one would turn back to him and rededicate their lives to the Lord once again. And uh, that is certainly a burden in our spirit today for so many uh, that need to turn back to the Lord. We know there's a great harvest of souls and return of prodigals uh, that has been promised to the church. So we're going to agree together in prayer this morning uh, for that. Good to see my friend uh, Joey Ferris, uh, who's been watching with us this morning, and we thank God for him as well. If you're out there um, and we have not mentioned your name, you can hit the like or love button, and that will help me to uh, see you there and know that you're joining with us in prayer this morning. Leave a prayer request or comment, and I'll be sure to read those uh, as soon as we uh, go off the air this morning. I want to read to you this morning from Acts chapter 8. I'm going to try to hurry here as it is a more of a lengthy reading than usual. Um, but we're reading in Acts chapter 8, verse 26. I'm going to read down through verse 38. Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south along the road, which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is desert. So he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia a eunuch of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all of her treasury and had come to Jerusalem to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot. He was reading Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said to Philip, Go near and overtake this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I unless someone guides me? And he asked Philip to come up and sit with him. The place in the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, his justice was taken away, and who will declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. So the eunuch answered Philip and said, I ask of you, whom does this prophet, whom does the prophet say this? of himself or some other man. Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning at this scripture preached Jesus to him. Now as they went down the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? Then Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So he commanded the chariot to stand still and both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and he baptized him. As we continue our uh, quest to be the uh, church, the same church as uh, we read about in the book of Acts, we want to be uh, that church that is uh, powerful and operating in the full authority that God has given us, just like that first church in the book of Acts. We see the pattern there given to us of how our churches should operate, and what should be happening. We looked at the first several chapters, and now we come to chapter number eight, where we see that uh, as uh, God's church in the earth, we need to be able to reach people of influence with the gospel. There are key people that um, we can win around us, uh, and we need to be not limiting God in our concept of who that we are able to win. The Bible says that this man was uh, had great authority, and in fact, he had charge of the treasury of the queen of Ethiopia, and yet he was hungry, empty on the inside, a man of great authority, but yet a person who really needed 
uh, something else in his life, something that was missing. And as he was searching the scriptures, God sent someone to him to explain to him what he was reading. There's people in our lives that just need someone to uh, join with them, someone to overtake their chariot, so to speak, to come alongside them and begin to explain to them and, uh, and witness to them of the message of salvation. Who is it in your life today that needs to hear the witness that you can share? Don't limit yourself and think, oh, that person is not interested. No, God is already dealing with them right now. And let's be sensitive that God could use us to minister to whoever he has placed in our path this morning. Would you pray with me today? Let's believe God to move in all of our needs and also to direct our paths today that we can be uh, influential and that we can reach someone who may well be a key to great revival in our communities. Lord, we thank you today for every promise of your word. We thank you, Lord, for the power that we feel as we begin to call upon your name. And we just want to exalt and extol you this morning. Lord, you are the mighty God. You are magnificent. There is no one like you. There is no name like your name. And there is no power but that that comes of you. You are above all things. Hallelujah. You are in charge of all things today. There is nothing outside of your purview today. And we thank you, God, for that promise of your word, that we can tap into your power and that we can be used of you for your word promises that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. And let it work in us right now. Lord, flow through our prayers into the hearts of people right now that they would be able to receive by faith the things that they have need of. In the mighty name of Jesus, we believe this morning, Lord, for Zeke Sampson and for his grandmother and for this other family member who has broken his femur. Lord, we believe for healing for that family, strength for that family today. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, have your way this morning in Abram Page's life. Oh, God, touch this child, Lord, that's suffering from GNA-01 disorder. We pray for Myra and Lorelei and Jenna and Tucker as they've been battling cancer. We pray, Lord, for uh, Abel Ray with PKU syndrome and Tano Lopez with spina bifida. We lift up Grady's grandson and Brantley. We pray for baby Elsie. We lift up, uh, Lord, these needs right now to you, believing God that you're going to touch them and minister healing. We pray for my mother this morning, praying God for healing from this virus that she's suffering with, healing of back pain right now. We pray, God, for Pastor Mickey Lewis. Uh, we believe for healing of this tear in his uh, uh, mitral valve corda. God, we believe for healing for him and that this will not progress, that it will not turn fatal, God. You are his healer. Lord, these others with heart issues, we lift up to you today. We pray for Philip Northrup for recovery from foot surgery. We pray for Ashley Johnson, Lord, for these upcoming surgeries that they would go much better than expected. Lord, we give you the praise for the recovery that she's already experienced. And we do not accept this poor report of the possibility of losing her speech. Lord, we believe for that blood clot to dissolve that's on her brain today. In Jesus' name, Lord, we believe today for continued recovery for Brother Huey for Carmen's cousins, Kelly and Shannon, for Tina's mother, for Sheila Sappington, for Eric Williams, for Megan Rackley. God, we pray for Leslie Sutton today. God, let your hand be upon these who you have spared in terrible circumstances, and you're raising them up today. We pray, God, for LaVon and for David Holloway. We pray for Michael and Grover Strachner, for Kendra and for Robbie, for healing of their respiratory issues. Uh, Lord, for Levon and David to be able to come off of the ventilators uh, today. We believe for Pastor Will Banks for healing of ALS. Uh, we pray for Cheryl's family member, Lord, for healing of this uh, situation, uh, this growth they found or whatever they found, the spot on her brain. We pray, God, against Parkinson's today. We believe for healing for my dad and for my mother-in-law and for Tim Workman and Russ. Uh, we pray for Sarah and Marty and Riley for healing of MS. Lord, each one that's battling cancer today, God, 
You've heard their names as we've called them out today. And we believe, God, for you to touch them right now and for them to be made completely whole. We pray for Jim Connor and for Brother Pulliam's brother for healing of these kidney issues, healing of the liver, healing of the pancreas. We believe for healing of diabetes today. Lord, each one that's dealing with that situation, myself included, we realize, God, that we must trust in you for our healing today. And we believe, God, right now that we receive that healing touch. In the name of Jesus, we believe for, uh, for normal A1C scores, normal blood sugars, steady blood sugars. Uh, in Jesus' name, you're able to reverse every effect of this disease. We pray, God, for those battling with back pain right now. You see Charles Davis uh, dealing with allergies and with back pain. Lord Jenny and Tammy and Bob and Melena, Britt and James and Terry, Michael and Lori. We believe today, God, for their healing for the pain in their body to leave. We pray for June Coffer to receive healing of this arthritis pain. For Renee to receive healing of her hips and knees right now. Those who have stomach issues, that they will receive a touch in this moment as we pray. We believe for those suffering with migraines and shingles and other health needs right now, that you would reach down and touch them. Lord, touch Melena and Beth and Marcia, Leslie and Bob and Wilda, Jennifer, Lord, we pray for Judy's sister Mary and for Shirley Garner, for Carmen's sister Tracy, for Charles Davis's dad, for Tom Shannon and for Chloe, for Kevin Gossett and for Meredith, for Jim Johnson and for Jimmy Holden, for Nicole and for Regina Bishop. We pray for Jamie Joe and for Lane today. We believe God for Ron Asher to receive strength and encouragement for JB who's on hospice care, for Kristen's uncle Monty, Lord, Move in these needs, we pray. Lord, in every spiritual and family need, you care about these situations. For Morgan and Haley and Barbara, for Matt and Michaela and Mark and Caitlin, we pray for Carrie Jones and her family. We pray for the Samson family, for Caroline's family, for Alicia, for Grace's best friend's family, and for her circle of friends. We lift up Marcia and Britt today and their family, Cheryl's family member, Josiah, Terry's children, those who need deliverance from addiction. We pray for Mari for his finances and employment and for his children. We lift up Charles and Amber today. We pray for baby G's adoption, for Dawson and Zach and for JR. We lift up Annette and Dave and James and Angela. God, you know their needs today. We pray for Marcia's friend and her family. We pray for Pearl today, for Rebecca Rush and her family, for Jennifer and Brenda's family for Judy and Mike's family, and for our Mingo RCF residents. We pray for our Job Corps students and alumni. We lift up Allen and Beulah's family. We pray for the Sappington family, for Pam's children, for Dee Dee Sealert's biological father and his family. We pray for Regina's family, for Art Chandler, for Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families. We lift up our North American missionaries, our global missionaries. Lord, especially today, those who are in Ukraine, and those who are in the nation surrounding. We pray for those taking in refugees from Ukraine, for those humanitarian aid workers, that you would protect them. Lord, protect the troops today. Protect the NATO allies today. Lord, be with the children, those who have been widowed and orphaned today, and comfort them. Lord, those who have parents and loved ones in the military, we pray your protection, God, for their mind today, and that you would strengthen them and help them, God, to be reunited with their loved ones. So in the name of Jesus, we pray today, God, for comfort and peace for the Cummins family. Lord, your protection upon Stephen and Malena as they travel this week to Michigan to be with family, to comfort them. We pray you would help them to be a witness before them. In Jesus' name, Lord, guide our steps today. Help us, God, to exert the influence that you've given us. So, Lord, to be able to share the knowledge that you've given us with someone who has need of salvation. Hallelujah. Use us, Lord, we pray. And we give you the thanks and the glory and the praise for all that you're doing today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Thank you for praying with us. Good to see you with us this morning. Erica joining us uh, with us here as we went along and also Melena as they're headed to Michigan. And uh, we're thankful for what the Lord 
is doing and what he's going to do um, with uh, these prayers today. I look forward to praying with you again uh, tomorrow morning. Let's join together at the same time, 7.30 a.m., believing for great things in the presence of the Lord. I will see you then.